clock. And Chicago stands with it in the center circle. Glad you're with us. Hope you enjoy it. Waiting for the referee's whistle. And there it is. We're underway here live at the Independence Event Center. The Missouri Comets and the Chicago Riot battling for the second time this season. Missouri sends it deep into the corner. There's Leo Gibson and Stefan Stokic back there. As Nick McKay pointed out, Gibson now playing in the back. Vahid Asadpour along with Stokic. Now a long drive, and that one kind of curled back in. Waltman dove the opposite way. Rebound comes up top. Jamar Beasley's there. He kicks it forward to Asadpour, and he plays it back to Waltman. So the Comets will... Play it out of the back. It's kind of a designed offense, if you will, for the Missouri Comets. They boot it right up Main Street. Austin Porter, right side, shot of the goal, right out of the bat. And the Missouri Comets are on the board first. It's Byron Alvarez who had the hat trick last time. Will John continuing to walk it in into the middle end. Richie able to gobble it up for Chicago. There's Brian Harris going down on the slide, digs it away, and, and the Missouri Comets steal it. Now Iverson walking it in, leaves it over to John for a post goal! Great passing by the Comets, and they lead 4 to nothing. All started by Brian Harris, who stole the long outlet away with a beautiful kick slide, and that gave the Comets numbers. They had a three-on-two advantage, and Will John with a beautiful shot to the far post. To Namaski. Now back to Gallo. Gallo's got into the center circle. Two and a half to play in the opening quarter. 4 0 Missouri over the Chicago Riot. Here's a long drive for three. Blocked by Gibson. Rebound. Shot. It's deflected in. And Chicago gets on the board. It's Duda with the goal for the Chicago Riot. So trying to find a way to deflect that ball in, but it didn't work. Beasley was just kind of playing some self-defense there. <laughs> I think so. John with a drive for three, and that one off the near boards. Here's Alvarez. He's got the captain's band on today. If Alvarez leaves it for John. John had it taken away by Megson. Megson forward. It rolls on up to Santalee. Santalee's around the boards, and they get it out in front of the score. It's now tied at four. Wow, the goal there from Megson. And he gave up his body to get that one in there. Just flew up in there. And his kind of came down on his backside and then posed a little bit. Did you catch that? He kind of kind of propped his head up like he was taking a nap. Oh, wow. Santalis. Five V4. Comets on the power play. Near side, Rodriguez. He and Leo Gibson play catch on the left side. Now they'll try the right side with Austin Poor down the corner to Beasley. Beasley fires a shot, and they're deflected away. And that's probably going to do it for the first half. Long drive from Waltman. The horn sounds, and that's going to do it for the first half. So Comets will go on the power play to begin the third quarter at the end of two quarters. The Missouri Comets for the Chicago Riots for even the game at 4-0. And that's where we stand. Well, the Comets, for once... Concern isn't on the defensive side. It's uh, trying to get some points on the board. The Comets have had a, quite a dry spell now. First minute here, very important, with the Comets having the one-man advantage. So here we go. It's Leo Gibson, Vahid Asadpour, Lucas Rodriguez, Byron Alvarez, and Jamar Beasley on the field with Danny Waltman in goal. Here's Rodriguez trying to walk it in fast. His shot blocked by Kledzian comes off to Fred DeGan. DeGand will... Uh, booted across the half line, goes around Leo Gibson, picks up the ball, fires a shot from three. That one off the mark. 30 seconds left on the advantage to the Chicago. Plays it front and center up to Fred DeGan. DeGan thought about shooting. Instead, back to the goal. Leaves it to Novi. Novi, a drive for three. And Novi to Marinovich gives the Chicago Riot their first lead of the game. It's now 7-4. to four. Right side for Beasley. Beasley lets it carry him off the boards. Plays it away from the goal to Asipur. Now Vahid. Skip pass over to Stefan Stokic. 6-11 left to play in the third. Chicago leading 7-4 over the Missouri Comets. Comets backtracking here a little bit. 
Looks like the Riot are not high pressuring as much as they were in the first half. The defense is picking up the Comets on the half line. Now Waltman plays it long. Richie gets way off his line and into the penalty area. Beasley could not catch up with the ball. Beasley tries to split the defenders. Demosky got a touch. Now a drive and a goal! There he is, Brian Harris. He's been active on the defensive end. Now finally gets one in for the Comets. Boy, Richie got way out of position early on in that play. You you called it perfectly. Beasley had a chance in the penalty area. It got away. Richie, though, never really got totally back in position. Three-point goal ties the game from Harris. Brian Harris. A three-pointer. The game tied at seven. And with 5.44 left to play, it's a brand new game. Well, now it was called on Andre. The restart there is won back by Andre. He's got it front and center for the Chicago Riot. Moves to the right, fires a shot and a score! A very quick move by Andre and the Riot take a 9-7 lead. The penalty to Stefan Stuck. It's Misanovic, right wing for the Chicago Riot. Front and center, it comes to Novi. Touched over to Namaski. Namaski to Misanovic. Misanovic down to the corner to Jurisilo. Ball squirts off the boards. Penalty's over with. Stokic on the field. Get it on up there. He's open. Here comes Asipour up to Beasley. Beasley, goal! Comets on the counterattack, and the game is tied at nine. All started in the back end when Asad Poor won a 50-50 ball right at the yellow line in the Comets back end. And he was able to drive it up the field, get it to Beasley. Richie, the goalkeeper, tried to come up and challenge. Here's Gallo. Cross the line to Durisilo. Back to Gallo. Now 10 seconds left, and maybe Chicago will be content to go into overtime. Here's Novica. Oh, it got under the foot of Jamie Harding there. Woo, that was close, but the horn sounds, and after 60 minutes of soccer, nothing settled here. Boy, scary moments for both squads there. <laughs> Transition opportunity. For Chicago, and then the Comets got it right back, but never really an opportunity to get a shot off. Everyone on the edge of their seats here at the Independence Event Center. Restart coming up to Chicago. Again, sudden death overtime here. DeGan. Oh, we rolled over the top of a terrible pass picked up by the Comets. Here's Jamie Harding. Wall pass to Beasley. Beasley down the left side. Shot. Goal! That's a game winner! Comets winners! Finally, a Comets home victory, 11-9. The final score, and Beasley is running all over the place. What a finish. And this Comets crowd, they've been here for every game. Very good Friday night crowd here tonight. But these fans have showed up every game and now finally have a reason to leave happy. They were on the edge of their seats waiting for that. And that goal maybe sends the Comets into a solid run here at home. Victory two in a row. Number three overall. Woo! Now the Comets have some momentum. Finally. That game was not without its scary moment. <laughs> oh, my. It wasn't. White knuckle down through the fourth quarter in the early part of overtime. And as you watch the replay here, we got to give some credit to Jamie Harding, who picked up that poor pass from Fred DeGand and sent a terrific wall pass off the side dasher boards. Ricocheted, led Beasley perfectly. Beasley with the left foot, angled it to the far post and snuck it in there for the game winner.